Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for Valentine's Day. <gasps> I'm I mean, one of your little, oh, a few hours early. You know, I'm just saying. So, as of recording, thank thank you, um, one of my co-hosts, Alex, of through the uh, internet. Thank you, Alex. Technically, yes. We are about <laughs> roughly three, four hours away from actual Valentine's Day. We are recording this on the beautiful night of February 13th. So not quite Valentine's Day, but we're very close. We wanted to make sure we got you something extra special Valentine's Day. And all we really could give you is just us. So we're here. Now, Alex, mm. you already spoke up. So I find it easier to, you know, I already introduced you. I already talked about you. So... I want to just jump in to the one question I ask you every week. Mm. But before we ask you that question, I want you to help me pimp out some of our stuff. Now, you're listening to us right now. We're called the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. You can come to us every single Friday sometimes where we come to you with the news that we think you should probably listen to sometimes. Now, I know you're thinking, that sounds really good. How can I support that in more ways than one? Well, we got plenty of those. You can go scroll down a little bit and either on a podcast service of your choice or youtube.com you can hit that right there that subscription button you can subscribe to our feed that gives you every single video free of charge that's right free all it costs is that one click then you can of course like leave a review maybe comment on that podcast service that you're also listening to us on then if you want to go just that one step beyond you can head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us a buck. That's going to give you plenty of tiers to choose from. That's also <clears throat> going to give you the option to privately message us. All of your wants, desires, your dreams, if you really want to, probably won't write back to you. But you can message us. But you can also have a chance to get onto the show. You got a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea, leave it there. We might actually read it to you. On this very show that you're listening to right now. Now that I'm done with that, Alex, I want to go back to that one single question I ask you every single week. What is that again? Oh, right. What have you been playing? Man, I've been trying to just get a whole bunch of trophies this week. So this has definitely been like trophy central here, right? Same. Now, yeah. if you're easy, if, if you're easy, I mean, we know you're easy if you're listening <laughs> to this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you are new to the Easy Achievers, then we're mainly xbox oriented but we do play on just about everything we do tend to play more on xbox but over this past week you might have thought we'd be running a playstation podcast by the amount of times we've been playing playstation games out just name a few that you've been playing for me uh let's say platinum ghost of tsushima okay all right Let's see. Uh, a famed, not liked game here on Easy Achievers Gaming Network. Man, right? that was look, a that I, we we threw that thing through the mud, did we not? Did we did we did? But you know, we were I I was playing Sekiro uh-huh. on Xbox, and I was like, you know what? I screwed myself over on one of the endings. I'm upset. Mm-hmm. I still want to be a samurai. I want you to I, tell I everyone what you did. I want to. Uh, I want to. You're you're gonna be a dog right now. I'm gonna rub your nose into your mistake. Oh what did you do? You you got greedy with the achievements. Okay. All right. Okay. You I got was trying greedy. to get as many. Yeah, I was trying and I was trying to get as many achievements as I can, and I saw that you can get all th- uh, three or four endings in one playthrough. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna try it. You know, it's easy on PlayStation. Let's do it on Xbox. <laughs> I look it up. <laughs> I look it up, and then I do it, and then I didn't realize that it the, the uh, like these auto saves have screwed me over <laughs> countless of times and i thought i should learn but i haven't you haven't learned so you didn't learn I picked, alex i picked one ending which is supposed to be i think either i think it's the bad ending but some people like it more than others but um i got stuck with one of the endings first off and that that the, the quickest ending you get i don't like that and it's that's like yeah, a, that's why that's I, I like a what if ending you, I think it's be- I think it's the bad ending because you lose that all all the content. Oh, of course. Um, but yeah, I and for people who have played this game, you know what ending I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil anything it's, in case you haven't played Sekiro because I'm not gonna lie, it's a fantastic game. Hey, game. you liked it. I we haven't no, actually no, I talked. Lo- 
I, we haven't actually okay. talked about you if you liked it or not. I mean, okay. You, you six, told me I, about the seconds. idea. 60 seconds. Oh, okay. 60 I, seconds. I'm on the clock. All right. No, the game is great. It's from software. I thought it was going to be like, you know, oh, it's like, oh, it's a ninja game. It's, it's going to be a Dark Souls ninja game. I first I first played it. Dude, I could. I was getting my butt whooped. I could not get into it. I was uh-huh. like, I'm done with this. You were like, hey, let's go back to it or go back to it. I was like, okay, I tried it again. Watch a little bit of a walkthrough. Dude, I went in, played it so much. I enjoyed it. Got good at parrying after Bloodborne. Man, that that was easy. You, I I love Sekiro. It's probably oh, it was so good. It might be my favorite from Soft. Bloodborne probably is now though. Bloodborne's my favorite. Yeah, bro, Bloodborne's oh. probably my favorite now. But it's close. Which, second we platinumed there. also. Which we yes we did platinum over the week. Yes we did. Yes we did. That was such a fun time. Oh my god, I yes. I, I distinctly remember. It's almost in implanted into my memory Mm -hmm. going to bloodborne the first time in 2016 that might be right and Mm -hmm. trying to play that game and just not in the mood i was just remember not in the mood dude i remember i got to cleric beast and everybody knows you know that's your that's your first boss you know that's like your first boss yeah i literally watched this thing come out and i was like okay I got this. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to parry. I didn't know what the gun was for. I thought it was just a, a you know extra damage thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm over here rolling, hit him. He's charging me. I'm like, oh, I'm dead. He just dude. He would not let me go, mm-hmm. and I, I could not get past the cleric beast. Once I got past cleric beast, I stopped, and I was like, don't know why I stopped. Just never played it again. I but now I picked it back up. <laughs> I like got past maybe the square. In the very okay. beginning of the game, you talking about with 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 the, with the with all thing the with all the people, yeah, yeah, and then that I dude, was like, oh my god, nah. I died there so many times. And then who th- who would have thought? Four years later, I come back to the game. Oh. Love it. I love mm-hmm. this game. This is amazing. We're yes, at, we, yes. We gotta stop. We're doing a spoiler cast. Hopefully tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I should have some time. Hopefully you do, Alex. Tomorrow we'll do a spoiler cast. We'll actually talk about Bloodborne. Um, if oh, not, man. we'll do it's Valentine's Day. We gotta give uh, them people's go. dust what they love. Of course, and they love. And Bloodborne. as a, I mean, if they haven't noticed, as a gift to them, this is the first video we're, do, we're first I, podcast. We're I didn't bring. Video. I didn't bring it up because I was hoping Hi. nothing would break. You can but see the, my ugly face. This is a this is a face reveal, like uh, like the uh, like the YouTubers do, like <laughs> they they go like so long without showing their face. This is our faces. Now, did mm-hmm. we hide them at all? Not really. So it's not the same, but it's kind of the same. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Gonna, I'm going to hide my No, he's fine. He's, he's hiding. He's, <laughs> he's, gobble, he's, he's Gollum. Uh, speaking of Gollum, we're not even in the news yet. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Do you remember the Lord of the, the Rings? Is- the ga- yes. Uh, you 100% knew where I was going. The Gollum game or Does the Lord it, of the Rings? No, 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 game? no, no. You already knew where I was going with it. The okay, Lord of the Rings okay. Gollum game. Yeah, we're still getting it. Do you? Who? Who is this for? Do you care at all about this game? Who? Uh, honest, honestly, who looks honestly, at Lord of the Rings and goes, "I want to play. I want to. I want to. I want to play the small man that has to look, hide and not fight anything." That's what I want to be. I've always been interested. I'm not gonna lie to you in his story because he was a hobbit originally. Yeah. His name is Smeagol. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I want to okay. know. I want to know his story. We got it. Like, in the ring. <laughs> so, and is that all? Is that it? He was just fishing. He sees a ring, and bam, that's it. Like it, then he goes to a cave and becomes like. That well, I mean, thing. I assume. I assume he went through some. Sh- he excuse me. He went through some stuff. Uh huh. You know, throughout the. Uh, years I guess we don't cuss now. <laughs> we're on camera, so we don't cuss anymore. And then, and, then, and then randomly he just starts going. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he does do that. Well, he. That's his alter ego. That's his Jekyll and Hyde. And then he's like coughing. <laughs> Oh he's God. like it's it's like he's trying to cough up the ex like the exorcist demon, but it's like it won't come out. And I. I I just was just like, who's this for? Why do I don't care about it? But maybe someone does. Maybe someone's mm-hmm. like, finally, I get to be Gollum. I get to go eat fish raw mm-hmm. or whatever he does. Enough of that. Play riddles. I don't know. Just, no, stop it. We're going. Uh, we're going. Wait. We're getting. We're gonna do the news now. <laughs> on this news podcast show, kind of. Oh wait, wait. Back to your question. I've been playing Sekiro. Oh, that's We're right. Playing that, 
I forgot we were still talking about that. Um, but now, because uh, still in the Soulsy mood, I am playing Dark Souls Remastered. Okay, I can respect that. I, yeah. I kind of want to go back to my self assistant too because I it, played it, Bloodborne. The sixty, dude, the sixty frames, it it, it, it helps nice, a right? lot. Okay. Yes, but I'm not gonna lie, you still feel super slow rather than Demon Souls. I rather pick Demon Souls than Dark Souls Remastered, but mm-hmm. it's it's nostalgic going back to this because I'm like, oh, I remember these two gargoyles fight. And yeah, I do it. Yeah, we played this in like high school. So like, I remember mm-hmm. going. I remember going to lunch and talking about this with like our group, and like mm-hmm. getting like hints and being like, "Oh, did you get this sword from the dragon's tail?" I'm like, "Did I what with the what? No." And then they came over and showed me how to do it. It was like really cool. Like, there's another one. If you if you break off the one of the gargoyles' his tails, you get uh the gargoyle halberd or axe or something like that. All right, I didn't know that either. So that's yeah, cool. I didn't know that either. I was actually speaking of, of Dark Souls, I, I got into speedruns. I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm into watching speedruns now. I started with watching a Bloodborne so speedrun. They're so fun. They're so fun. I really like the glitchless ones. Because like with mm-hmm. the glitchy ones, it's like oh you go yeah. through the wall and you skip twenty percent of the area. It's like yeah. Eh. I was showing that to my wife and she was like what is going on with his camera and it's like upside down like you can't see where he's doing but he he's like weird where you can't see him and he's letting him by on fire and i was like how does he know where this is it's weird yeah you just memorize it i guess but yeah i'm I'm not a huge huge fan of that stuff but it it has a place Mm -hmm. like something like with dark souls i do watch the glitch ones because they're fun but i've been getting into those those are really fun watching a lot of awesome games done quick which is a great charity I'm at, I can't wait for them to do mm-hmm. it again because I missed their last one. So like when they do that again, I'm definitely watching it. It's, it's really mm-hmm. fun. I just wanted to bring that up really quick. Super fun to watch. A speed run of someone. I watched a Pokemon one that was pretty crazy. They oh, literally, wow, nice. they literally use like one Pokemon the whole run, like and like oh, get it down wow. to like a, they they have it down to like every second they're doing something that's super valuable. It's crazy. If crazy. you want to watch cool ass speed runs, awesome games, then quick. Just get, go find a game. I watched a bunch of Kingdom Hearts ones too. And mm-hmm. I learned a lot of stuff about the Kingdom Hearts. I, I like to say I'm a Kingdom Hearts savant. There's a lot of stuff I didn't know about Kingdom Hearts and those <laughs> things. I had no idea half that stuff. But I'm done talking. I'm done talking about the games. Let's go with let's go on with what people actually cared for. You know, <laughs> I like to think they care about the games, but they're really like, what's the ner- the news we need to know? You understand? Mm-hmm. And we got some news today specifically what's happening about what do i want to do first i want to, i want to do ratchet and clank rift apart generally we do have a segment called date updates but this is kind of substantial so i do want to bring it up ps5 okay. game got announced ratchet and clank rift apart is actually coming out june 11th it did come out with the trailer you can go watch that on youtube won't be watching that here because it you know it looks fine don't don't want to don't feel like dealing with the with the the immediate takedowns of putting the YouTube video, can't it. let's just say it. I could I could I could run it. All right, if I can run it, I won't say who the other person can run it, but someone else involved in this podcast could not handle anything else. So, just throwing that out there. If you want us, if you want to help, patreoncom YouTubers, let's get Alex a new computer, please, for the love of God. Now. Just want to throw it out there, Alex. Do you care about Rift Apart? Are you excited about this? I don't. Have you played a Ratchet and Clank before? I don't. I actually know. I, I never played the originals. The only one that I really played was the like the re-release or the remaster, and okay. I think it's a remaster. And I mean, I I I enjoyed it. I I really liked it. Okay. I definitely. I know it's not in the same ballpark as like Crash or Spyro. I assume. In like what Question sense mark. of the word? I mean, like mm, popularity. I guess it's yeah. pretty popular. I mean, they've had like, I mean, I, off the I was, top of my well, head, eight the, games in their well, series. The reason I was gonna say is because I like it. I like Ratchet and Clank better than Crash. Yeah, but I don't think that's crazy. Well, I didn't know if I can like you know relate compare them to games. compare them to. Yeah, yeah I, get, I get what you're saying. I mean, they're pretty. I wouldn't say they're super comparable. But, mm-hmm. like, Ratchet and Clank, and even, like, their timelines with when they were released are pretty similar. And they're very, like, I'd say 90s games, like, for sure, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like they're both super popular at the time. Still pretty popular, too, even with Crash 4 coming out and now uh, Rift Apart. I'm excited. I pl- I, the only one I've played all the way through is the Ratchet and Clank that was game that was also a movie. 
I guess. Yeah, whatever, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, the, 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 that one. I like that one a lot. But Rift Apart looks yeah, really cool. Yeah, it was the remaster. Okay, so that was the remaster. Yeah, so I liked that. But I haven't really played that much else. I remember, mm -hmm. I remember as a kid, I, growing up, I, I liked Jack and Daxter. Mm -hmm. And then, like, three or four years later, I forgot what Jack and Daxter was and heard mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank and you thought, oh, well. that's Jack and Daxter. Yeah. And then I remember mm -hmm. seeing, like, a clip of it and being like, this is that's Jack and Daxter. It. And then I completely forgot what it was until you mm -hmm. brought it up one day randomly. Like, oh, you, you remember that? And I was like, oh, that's the name of the fucking mm -hmm. game that I forgot. It's like, like Banjo-Kazooie, and you're like, who? Yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. I don't think I've ever played that. My dad really likes those, I think. Oh, I, I've, used, I used I've to I, when I had it on the Game Boy. No, I never played that. Never played that. No, 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 no. Now, I'm done talking about Ratchet and Clank. I want to move on to Division 2. Alex, mm. I don't know if you heard, they did originally state that Division 2 might have been finished off with major content, but they did actually kind of take that back. Ubisoft seems to have gone back on their original stance of leaving Division 2 as it is with their latest content drop. Fans of the series will be pleased to hear that going back on that recently stated. Uh, they went to Reddit. Ubisoft Mash posted that this content is, quote, due to your continuous passion and support. And they just basically announced that they're going to make more content for the game over the next two years. Don't but have not it's still going. Not said anything else, which is cool. I think everyone kind of assumed when they announced the, what, Star Wars um, game that they're making now that that was, you know, Division 2 is like, all right, you're, you're going to leave Division 2, we get it. But no, they're going to make more content for the game. Now... <laughs> Everyone that's listening to that, that's like, oh, nice, I'm getting more content. They don't specify the length or the size of the content. So we could be talking about something you as can big as... Just get, you can just get cosmetics. Or, like, you know, you could get, like, a new mode. But, like, I don't know if we're talking about, like, Warlords in New York or, of like, Division One's um, Underground. Like, I don't think we're getting... It. I don't know. Let it die. But, I, I, Jesus, Alex! <laughs> what? Why you, it's, why don't you like Division? I like Division, but like I rather them work and you know fix other games that has issues. Um, Watch Dogs Legion, or, uh, <laughs> oh, those uh, are different Assassin's teams. Creed, you know glitches. I get, I get it. Those are different teams. This is massive. They have nothing to do with. Uh, I think it's Ubisoft Montreal that did that. I don't remember. I see what you're saying, but it is a different team. I guess. I, I know. I know you should upset. have that team. You're upset with the team. you're upset with the Watchdogs. You're upset with the Watchdogs. Okay, yeah, I, I I'm I'm still bitter about the Watchdogs because oh, oh, I would, dude. Oh. I mean, they essentially killed the franchise, in my opinion. I don't know if they're no, yeah. uh, Ubisoft Toronto is who developed that. Um, I literally so, was so excited for this game. I got the the most expensive one, and I was oh I wanted to play it so much because I loved to started playing it. I was like okay okay. I kept playing. I was like. This is getting boring. I can't believe I was and right repetitive. about that. Assassin's Creed was made Ubisoft Montreal, <clears throat> and then so it was um, made by the same people. No, 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 no. So Ubisoft oh. Montreal made Valhalla, Ubisoft okay. Toronto made Watch Dogs, and then Massive Entertainment made Division Two. Gotcha. So I get what you're saying. You know, you're just saying in general Ubisoft. Yeah. Please fix the other games, but I don't know if you can fix Watch Dogs Legions. I don't think there's a. I don't think the technical achievements are holding the game back. I think it's the actual bring a next gen game. upgrade. I mean, I didn't didn't feel like one. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Was... I get what you're saying. I understand where you're coming from. I respect it. I am Watch Dogs is I I I left it. It's gone. It's goodbye. Mm -hmm. I loved you. It, this isn't good. I didn't like the last one, so I'm just moving on. Hopefully, the assassin content is good. I, I want the new Assassin content. Oh, I can't wait for the Paris That, That looks fun. And then the Valhalla, I think you just said the Paris. Um, yeah, yeah, it's Paris, and then I think you go to Ireland, I think? I, I don't remember. I, I, I know Paris. I, I don't know the other one. Yeah. I don't know the other one. But, speaking of games that are having some troubles, when you think troubles and you think a game, there's only one thing that you really think about, and that's Anthem. And Anthem... Oh, has already been decided by the time you're listening to this podcast they have already figured out if anthem lived or died anthem hmm. the famed but already forgotten new ip from bioware and ea will have its fate already decided by the time you listen to this podcast anthem a third person open world games as a service known for its incredibly rocket launch 
Hasn't seen much in the way of the updates. It seems uh, a slightly improved UI and performance standpoint, but nothing in the way of expansions. And then Anthem released, I want to say, in, um, what was that, 2017, I want to say? Let's get the, I'll uh, get you a quick check. Google search on that. Before. But I do want to say uh, it was uh, 2019, February 2019. So, really? yeah. Anthem, Alex. Um, right now, I walk up to you. I was so excited for that game. I, I walk up to you, Alex. I go, hey, you know, we're we're tired. We don't know to go to go forward with Anthem or leave it behind. What what do you say? What do you tell head of EA? He comes to mm-hmm. ask you, hey, we love the podcast. We listen to it every <laughs> every week. We love Honestly, it. Honestly, what do you want us to do? <sighs> fix all the issues that people are talking about so like you know had a had a on the go inventory that people could like swap stuff out that they want to while you talk to the audience i'm gonna open a famed mountain dew you know i hate you because i literally went to walmart to get some and i could not find any or my wife couldn't find any this is not a sponsor to be clear this is the new major melon this is a delicious you know what i had you know what i you know what i had to get you got the mountain dew i had to go with mountain lightning no, you didn't. I have some in my fridge. No, yes. you didn't. Yes, I did. It's Alex, cheaper. no. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, I would say go with uh, fix everything. Be like, hey, we fix everything you guys said, and we want you guys to give it another chance, so we're making it free to play. Mm, okay. So now when it's free to play and they see everybody come back, it's like, hey, we see that you guys are are back. We're gonna add new DLC to this. <laughs> no, it's nothing you said. I was just, I went in my whole head for a second, and mm-hmm. I just, <laughs> I was like, you remember in Sword Art Online? <laughs> what? So, so as soon as everyone logs in, the guy goes, "All right, you're all stuck." <laughs> I, was <laughs> thinking, I, was, I was thinking like. And he gets everyone into free and play, and he's yeah. like, right, no, you can't play anything else. You have to play Anthem. I'm sorry, I completely ruined what you're going with, and it was. Re- I liked where you're going. Please pick that back up. I just, lo- I lost it for a second. Um, but no, uh, fixed, uh, fixed problems. You know, um, make it free to right. play. Right. Um, pretty. Uh, hmm, how do I say this? I feel like it would, re- it would, it would respond better to the audience if it was honestly, if it was a. F- free mmo rpg type of game yeah like, like, imagine elder scrolls online but like like online or what's that isn't there a game that's that's kind of like okay i'm sorry let's say the only thing i can think of that's even similar war uh, warframe okay i mean yeah. that's free nah, to play free to play yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I feel I like see people would benefit from that so, oh, excuse me sorry that mountain dude's coming back uh no the <laughs> the expand, i see where you're going right you, you try to make amends with First off, you, uh, you you have to do two things with this game before you decide anything with the future. You gotta, fix the issues. You gotta yeah, you gotta fix the issues, which which in my opinion comes with what I was about to say. One, you you pay your dividends to the people who stuck it through. Mm-hmm. I still follow that Reddit just to see what people talk about. I don't care about the game. I don't follow it. There's still people posting on the Reddit talking about builds and things like that make make sure they feel feel loved or whatever you have to do give them i don't know whatever the people who, like like with the people of no man's sky the people still stuck with that game yeah yeah the people who stick with the game make sure they feel loved and appreciated do whatever you got mm-hmm. give them materials or whatever two you got to incentivize everyone else who hasn't touched or has not come back to the game which free to play yep. would do wonders to it Mm-hmm. Or you do some sort of major event. You know, log in this time to get some Mass Effect mission, whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. You so, can get the like, yeah, the armor and stuff. Yeah, I. You come to me and you ask that question. I go, I go, you leave it. And I know that's probably not popular, but I, I think I think everything you invest is sunk in cost. I don't think you get this game back. I wish. I wish there was. I want to be wrong on this. I, I wish, mean, that, I wish at, it comes I mean, back. First off, look at it, or I'm gonna rephrase what I just said. Look at No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's true. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky completely turned it around. 
was oh my god i played that day one and i stuck with it and it was trash at the beginning and yeah. now dude the expansions are awesome the updates are awesome like dude it, it's awesome yeah literally a completely 180 from launch right launch came yeah. i remember playing it like okay i see where you're going with this you're kind of you're trying to be like stuck with that game i don't feel like anybody's stuck with anthem i don't yeah. know i mean they might have i don't know what they're i mean i imagine that player base is I mean, maybe in the tens of thousands, maybe. Mm. But, like, that's not... I mean, that's nothing with, with the game. So, mm. hopefully... I, I want to I see... I like competition in the game save. So, the mm. most beneficial for me would be this becomes popular again. They put in updates. They try to fix it with a tie-in mission. Which, again, I don't know why they haven't done this already. But, like, tie-in Mass Effect or Dragon Age or something. Or something. Like just make it, it, cause it cool. looks so much like it. Yeah. yeah. Or just just anything like that. Just these side quests or something. But hopefully they figure it out. I'm if if I'm I would love to be a bug in the wall with them talking out. Like, do we keep this going or not? I assume it's not. I, you see that, I can't you see that one guy in the background like nodding to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, no. I if I have to bet if if I was asked like. <laughs> Like, what do you think happened? I assume they go in yeah, there. the trash can, and he has the collector's edition. He just shoves it in the trash can. <laughs> it's over. No, I, I assume he goes, you know, you no. Know. So I assume, I don't think Anthem Next or whatever they call it is happening, but mm-hmm. I would love for it to. Uh, yeah. I mean, I honestly, I I would try it again if it, they fixed it and stuff like that. But of if, course. If, as, yeah. Now, Alex. But, yeah. Mm-mm. Now, Alex. I'm going to take a sip of Mountain Dew. Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready. Grand Theft Auto. A name you've heard numerous go. times on this podcast. You've heard numerous throughout times. The eight years. Yeah. N- throughout the numerous times that you've heard at home and numerous times I'm sure you've talked with your friends and on news, literal news. Grand Theft Auto. Can't, you can't escape it. Now, Grand Theft Auto has now sold 140 million units. Grand Theft Auto, of course, was made by Rockstar Entertainment. Released in 2013, remains a behemoth in sales, and it had an is it literally had its best year in sales last year. Seven years after it launched, it had its best year in sales last. It's because everybody was stuck at home, nothing to do. Probably, I mean, that actually probably was a, a, a huge uh, benefactor of the actual uh, units. Uh, this is. Um, Incredible! It was actually this is hilarious because it was free on Epic uh, Game Store for like mm-hmm. I think it was like two or three weeks. So even with it being on sale, it uh, it still was the biggest in units sold, which is insane. They are still planning a next gen launch at some point. Um, if you remember, the PlayStation did have the event, which if correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, they had the event that showed off PS5 games. And it opened okay. with Grand Theft Auto V showing off that it was coming to PS5 and it would be mm-hmm. uh, f- free? Was that? Am I remembering that right? No. I th- think it was a free upgrade and you get one yes. million. Yeah, and you get, yeah, and every month you logged in on PS4, you got a million in store, mm-hmm. in game cash. Sounds roughly right. That should be correct. I couldn't find that specific story anywhere. I was having issues. Um, before I uh, record it, so forgive me if I'm wrong. Leave it a comment down below. I'll like it um, if it's correct. Uh, but yeah, crazy. This thing has sold 140 million units. Uh, arguably the be- I mean, the best-selling thing. Period. Last year, probably right. I mean, that's that's sold more than actual systems, which is crazy. Which is hilarious. Like that's insane. And uh, and uh, this this only fuels the flame of. Whenever GTA 6 uh, comes out, because I'm sure I'm sure when they hear this, they're like, "Is, is GTA 6 coming out?" And they see it's still Grand Theft Auto. Like, I'm oh. sure they're working on it already because I don't. The Red Dead did not do as good as they thought they would. Right, of course, yeah, uh, and I th- I think they were really hoping Red Dead would do better than they did, but like I don't think many people play Red Dead. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I, I liked Red Dead for the story. I touched the multiplayer for two seconds and then immediately left. So. Um, yeah, there. Yeah, and, and, uh, from what I see, the multiplayer portion of P of the PS5 version will be uh-huh. free. 
Okay, thank you. I don't, yeah, don't know if it's uh, the full, but it just says it so it just shows that the multiplayer GTA Online will be on PS Five and that will be for free. Okay, okay, thank you. That's yeah, that's okay. yeah. That's what I was curious about. I didn't remember that part. So cool. It said it will last up to three months after it's released. Uh, once in mid twenty twenty one. Okay, cool. All right. Now that's crazy. I very curious, Alex. If you if you had to guess. And I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, we'll never know. This game is, it's going to come out when it's ready. But, like, what do you think mm-hmm. ballpark GTA 6 release date is? Oof. I honestly, I don't think we'll even see it till... <sighs> see it. 2025. I mean... I know everyone's like, no, I, I know what, like, like immediately everyone goes, that can't be right. This, I mean, look that at it. game is coming out, if if it even even is GTA 6, this is assuming that's what it's called. I don't put it past them of, of releasing Grand Theft Auto, and, and then it's just an online game. I, mm-hmm. I, won't, I wouldn't be surprised. But if a 6 comes out, that game is coming out when it's ready. I and, think that game will come out in 2027. The only reason is because... Once, uh, I think it was between Red Dead and Five. So you're saying the end of this console, because that's in the roundabout area that this console generation would be close to ending. So does that sound right to you? Because because within about eight to nine years, console generations are are starting to get uh, outdated. So you're generally getting something new within a year. Alex is dead. He died. He's dead. Can't hear him. There he's back. It, it froze. He's my... back. Got well, idea, I, I, man. I was. It had froze. I already started your eulogy. I started giving out like, "Hey, he's dead. Sorry, we're gonna have to get past this." But, uh, <laughs> but what do you think? Um. Now, what was the question? Because, like I said, you. Oh froze. no! Oh no! You're good. And now I was just speaking on the fact of like, it sounds crazy, but I mean, mm. what I was saying was specifically with that. You think at the end of this generation roughly we'll have a oh new one. um because because like 20 25 27 is like roughly when we're getting the next generation so and i could see I mean, that i yeah I that's what happened with 360 yep and i don't I, yeah i can see that happening just because we got that with uh okay we didn't get it but we, we still had like another couple of years for uh god of war we had two years and then we got next gen so I mean we could have you know PS5 it came out what 2020 we can have it till if it's correct I mean what what is it you normally 7 years Yeah normally 7 to 8 9 yeah. years I'd say Yeah so it it can it, can, it could happen I could see it cuz they could definitely drag it out I mean maybe maybe not I don't know They they've again I'm going to say it again 140 million units sold that is mm-hmm. not including microtransactions. Speaking of a person they're with experience dreading. with their microtransaction sales, they're making a lot of money with that stuff. God knows yeah. how much money they have. I, I mean, I've put money into this game. My little brother has definitely put money into this game. I know like, personally uh, plenty of people putting money in the game. Like, like they literally see this and they're like, it's still doing fine. When we see numbers drop uh, tremendously, is when we'll start talking about. I'm sex. glad you brought We're that not up. About it. I'm glad you brought that up, Alex. That's always what I've said. Why make a six? Yeah. When the game just keeps selling, why really give give a reason? Yep. Why does why why make another it was, one? It, it was literally like the Assassin's Creed things. Why do you keep making another one? Do people keep buying it? People stopped buying it. They gave it a break. That is, that's a good point too. If you remember, this was, oh, a, that would have been uh, that would be Unity. Unity. Yeah. The end of the end of that year on Unities came out. Mm-hmm. The very next year, Syndicate didn't sell well, which is which crazy because that was a good one. But mm-hmm. you didn't sell well. They like near the end of that year, they were like, the reason we keep selling them, you keep buying. Them. And I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, good point. <laughs> yeah, that, I always buy all of them. I, I I complained. I was right there with people with complaining about Unity. I literally own all of them. And guess what? 
I bought it day one, so like I couldn't complain. Yeah. I bought it. I gave them my money, so they didn't care. But that's true. Once they see Dune, they're like, all right, it's time. It's time. It's time. Yeah. When they see that even drop a little bit, they're like, okay, nope, we can't let that drop. Either add another expansion, like they always do, <laughs> because they do the amount of heist there in this game is ridiculous now. They just released a new one. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. They probably was, uh, saw numbers kind of drop, and they're like, okay, no, new expansion. There you go. And it, guess what? It Bam, was their first solo are. heist, which was kind of, it's kind of, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that that's yeah. a thing they do. Alex, hmm. speaking of earnings calls, this is kind of like the earnings call show. Because, of course, if you don't know, quarter four ended recently. Um, and, you know, financial years are weird. But quarter mm-hmm. four, which means their full year ended, meaning they give an earnings call to their shareholders. So this is why we have so much information. And that's why we know this upcoming information during one of earnings calls for Blizzard Entertainment, they did mention that there will be no Overwatch 2 or Diablo 4 release this year. Um, and although not much information has been released since the announcement of Overwatch 2, we do know that it does include some single player content expo- expanding on the lore and the universe of the franchise. And the multiplayer does still include the original Overwatch um, base game. Uh, and you can still play with people who own Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2 in the matchmaking. That's cool. Yeah, it's still very... So technically, you would have... I mean, I guess people who... So, would it would, would it have double roster? Or would you only have a, a, a people available from 2 and Web 1 will only have people available from 1 and then they can battle it out? Like, how would that work? What I picture... Mm-hmm. Let's say you play... I. I don't remember the maps. Let's just say London is a map. Okay. Let's say you play in London on Overwatch 2, but that's an Overwatch 1 map as well. I'm assuming they take the player base from 2 and 1 and just, like, mm-hmm. mix them together and then they fight, right? I, I, I okay. assume. Well, I'm saying, like, like character base. I yeah. assume people that are playing 2... I see what you're saying. From two, and then yeah. people from 1 don't pick people from... I'm assuming... So, like, I'm assuming 2 won't have people from the... Well, I'm as, well. The way I see it is, Overwatch Two will probably have everyone from one, and you'll just see so some new the, characters. So it's double the roster. I, I don't think there'll be that many new characters. Well, I'm saying no, I'm not saying as many. Oh, I'm I just see. saying like you would have like both rosters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think you're correct. Okay. Yeah, I would say you're correct. Mm. But you'd be, yeah, because yeah. if I'm in Overwatch Two and I'm mm. and I, I want to play the new people, yeah. but I also want to play as my Reaper. So I would, have, I would have to have it. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I'm uh, Overwatch 2 is one of those things where it's like, I'm not one of those guys. I love 1. I like playing mm-hmm. it. If, if to be honest, if I had more people to play with, I'd probably play it more. more. But yep. I do like it. And I would play 2 if it comes out. Diablo I 4. I remember. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, no is problem. Overwatch crossplay? I can't remember. It's been so long since I played it. So, like, if I'm on Xbox, you get, 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 get me going. You get me okay. going. I gotta look it up now. You no no. It's not. It's not. You get me going. I'm it's upset. Not. I'm upset about this, Alex. I wish. Oh God, I don't know if we were recording the podcast yet, but I remember when crossplay was becoming a thing, and the first game that was like huge with it. It was Fortnite, right? And then the and then it was really big when Rocket Call of Duty wasn't it Fortnite or Rocket League? Rocket League was like a year after I think Fortnite did it. Was it r- roughly, yeah, roughly. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I remember like the mm-hmm. the like next year Warzone said it was like, hey, it's all cross. Oh, it's gotcha, all one yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure on a podcast I literally went, Overwatch is perfect for this. <laughs> like I can't wait for it to be crossplay. Yes, I remember, I remember because you were like, yeah, Overwatch needs to take this. It's gonna be perfect. Like they'll be the first one. They'll be the next. That was like three and I years think we ago. We were actually playing Overwatch. Around yes. That, so we were like, yeah, we, we, we had, had friends people, on PlayStation. We had people on PlayStation that play Overwatch, and I was like, "Perfect, we're gonna have crossplay soon." That was three mm-hmm. years ago. We have not seen crossplay even talked about from Blizzard, mm-hmm. and that infuriates me to no end. It is. I think it's because no they're scared excuse. to do cross. Reg- I think it's because I think they're scared to do cross progression, or they haven't been able to figure it out. Because I have played both games, I have played game both on um, both consoles, and I have cars on both, and it sucks. 
because I've done things and unlocked stuff on my PlayStation that I don't have on Xbox and vice versa. So I'm like, how are they going to make that blend? And I don't think they can. E, I got two. You would have to pick I got, one or the other, like Destiny. Blizzard, good good job. You, you've come into the right podcast. I'm going to give you two easy solutions for this problem that you do, I know you don't have. You just don't want to do it. One, two, mm-hmm. two, two fixes. You can either do the Destiny 2 route which is you go on a website, you say which account is your main account, and then you plug in your IDs, and now that is your one account. Yes, you lose one account in process, but suck it up. That's how, that's how it goes, but from now on, one account for everything. Two, you make one account. If you have another account on a different system, you smoosh it together. All your unlocks unlock on one account, if you have duplicate unlocks, you refresh it for coins. Boom. That's it. Done. Yeah. Easy. Never going to happen. I, I, it's not going to happen. I, I just, I don't for think I reason, figure it out. No, no. I, I refuse to believe. I refuse. This is Blizzard we're talking about. I refuse to believe. They're I feel like multi, there are more people play. Multi, like, I'd be playing it right now. Oh, it's a multi billion dollar company. You're telling me they can't figure out cross play or cross progression? fuck out of here with that they exactly know what they're doing I they're mean, not yeah, doing I'm it sure they either did. because they know they won't make money on it or they want it? they want that a reason in their new game they want overwatch mm. 2 to be the game like hey now it's crossplay. oh it's now it's yeah that's the only two reasons i can think of i refuse to believe it's because it's it's hard. not going it's not going to be cross and just you'll see oh my god that'd be perfect it's, it's, it's i want it to not be no, now no, no just so no, i have a reason no, to scream on this look, podcast it, it's it, yeah it's crossplay between pl- the, the 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 same platform <laughs> so xbox is xbox yep, playstation yep. is playstation not yep. mix that sounds like some blizzard shit right there that sounds like something yep. blizzard entertainment would be like what is this what you wanted uh, yep. it, over one, Overwatch one and two. That's are when I. That's when I grab a phone book, right in half. <laughs> <laughs> and those bitches are thick. That's this, so thick. Um, it it did. They did kind of make it sound like it will come out in twenty twenty two. Believe it when mm-hmm. else? I believe when I see it. Diablo four. We didn't mention it honestly because me and Alex don't have huge ties to that game. It is. Nah. It, I am excited about it, but I have no affinity for the franchise. So there's not too much mm-hmm. I can talk about. Uh, speaking of more earnings calls, EA had an earnings call, and they actually Let's get to this important did stuff. mention a new Battlefield game will be out on the next-gen systems. They did quote as a next-gen Battlefield game this year. Um, the latest entry was, of course, Battlefield Five that released November 20th, 2018. Which, they took a break. Yeah, they gave it like a year off. Isn't that what they... Ju- no, they don't, because they usually have the well, weird technically... in-betweens, right? Well, they had well technically it's been it's gonna be three years because it says or because now this year is gonna be three years. That's true. Since twenty eighteen. That's true. Yeah. So Battlefield Five, the one before was nine. What was it? Nine. Uh, the nineteen. What was it? What was that? What are you talking about? The the Battlefield before five. The Battlefield before the five war, was Battlefield the one. War. Thank you. Yeah, it's Sorry. called I, one. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, it's... I, I wanted to say 1984 or 19 it, whatever. Yeah, it's 1989, one, I think. One, or like that. The, the old one was called 19, uh, Battlefield 1942 because it was set in World War II. Got it. But that, dude, that one was fun, by the way. But yeah, no, it's been like almost three years since the new one. So I th- I'm i surprised that they gave it a break. And I think it's time. And they said it's going to come back to modern time. So it's going to be like right after, like, like, Four, like around the same time as four, three That's, or four. That sounds like that sounds attractive. Perfect, I like perfect. Because I love I three and four. Make bad company three. Why is that not They're a thing? They're too scared. Why? They're too scared. Why? Why? Why is bad company three still not been made? It is twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. We haven't got a bad company. Bad. You gave me hardline, but not bad company three. Ew. Thank you, Alex. Who wants to be in Miami? Hey, hey, I'm <laughs> All right. Now, that is the end of Earnings Call Central. Let's go up to some date updates. Why don't, you, why don't we, Alex? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prince of Persia joins the long list of games that are being <laughs> pushed back. Uh, and I'm just going to read, I guess, straight from there. They tweeted this out off their official 
Twitter page, so I'll just, I guess, just read this. Since announcing Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake in September, we saw an outpouring of feedback from you and the beloved franchise. It is your passion and support that is driving our development teams to make the best game possible. With that said, we have made the decision to shift the release for Prince of Persia the Sands of Time Remake to a later date. This extra development time will enable our team to deliver a remake that's fresh while remaining faithful to the original. Uh, we understand the update might come as a surprise and we'll continue to keep you posted on the progress of Prince of Persia the Sands of Time Remake. In the meantime, we want to thank you for all your ongoing support from the dev team. You're going to have to wait for Prince of Persia, Alex. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, cool. Moving on. <laughs> I've never played the originals, dude. Did you I not? I good, but I never I, played them. I really? I, oh, wow. If, if I had a bet, I, I feel like I could have swore you played one on PS2. Mm -mm. Nope. I played the PS2 one when I was a child, so I barely remember the game, but I think I liked it. <laughs> I don't remember, but I think I um, liked it. Look, on PS2, I was playing Destroy All Humans. Is that it? No, there's some other stuff. I just thought it was, okay, gotcha. it was okay, way cool. like opposite. <laughs> I was I was making an alien. I uh yeah. I played Suikoden a lot. Where's Suikoden by the way? I, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts is probably the most thing I've played. Yeah, probably Alex. Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> yeah, probably. If I had to guess, yes, that is probably the thing you've played the most. With the 256 megabyte memory card. God, that was a lot back then too. I remember being hyped mm -hmm, when, I got, the when I got that. I was like, "What?" Oh, that was so cool. And, that yeah, was a yeah, good day, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I never forget. It's probably one of the my favorite things in memory cards. You go to the memory to the save to the save slots, and you can see each game has its own little icon, and they some of the them icon. are animated. Yep, some of yep. them danced. Some of them had like dude, movements. Oh, best my God. thing I've ever the, saw. The I had a WWE SmackDown versus Raw mm -hmm. 2009. Oh, remember SmackDown versus Raw? And there was a little ring I think that rotated. I think that's the one. Oh. But but I played SmackDown versus Raw. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. I think was another one I liked Brings very much. Brings me back. Oh, that was a good one. I played. The, dude, I played that so much. Oh my God, so good. I played every W uh, SmackDown versus Raw man. One more date. Uh, actually, uh, two more date updates. Pokemon two. Snap comes April thirtieth. Alex, Alex, you could be a little, you be a little, you be a little photographer taking pictures. I never of played the original, Pokemon. but I, w I wanted I did. to. I did. I liked it. Fine. It was fine. It was a fine game. Mm -hmm. I took a bunch of pictures of Pikachu's. Mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts coming to PC. This is a date update. Comes to the Epic Game Store March thirtieth. I wonder you could, you could why buy it again. at the game store is it like is that they paid them a the lot of money tenth time? they paid them a lot of money and that's, that's why they're putting it on there well, I, yeah, um, is it exclusive to there or is it coming first there it should be exclusive um, if you want to double check on that Alex I would very much appreciate that but it's pretty sure it was exclusive they made a huge deal about this very much appreciate Twitter they made a lot of funny <laughs> uh, funny uh, like memes one of them was mm -hmm. like, um, no one's going to know this reference. But back like when I was first getting into uh, the internet, mm -hmm. someone made a picture of Bleach. I didn't even know what Bleach was, but someone made a picture of the guy from Bleach. And I guess it's from the anime, but it was like a long walkway. Um, I think his name is Ichigo? That sounds right, yeah, Ichigo. Okay. They made be uh, I Ichigo from Bleach. And they had him playing with Sora. It was just a picture, so and, like nothing happened. But 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 someone posted that, and it's as if they went in my mind, grabbed to that picture, and put it in front of me because it was the exact same picture. I was hype. It was amazing. Epic I was score like, exclusive. I figured. I was like, okay, so I was right about that. Yeah, it's Epic Score Game Score exclusive. And just mm -hmm. to make sure everyone at home knows, the reason it's exclusive is because Epic paid them a lot of money. Now, mm -hmm. speaking of the uh, the Bleach thing. Um, it was just really cool because they brought like that same picture and I got like a dose of nostalgia really quick. It was cool. And, and, the, and the meme was like, this can no longer be a dream anymore. Like now you can make <laughs> mods for Kingdom Hearts. That's exciting. People yeah, are going to be able to mod yeah. Kingdom Hearts. That sounds amazing. That sounds mm -hmm. hilarious. I cannot wait for the inevitable uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, like <laughs> Xehanort or whatever <laughs> that you have oh, to fight. Yeah. Like, can you imagine? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear that? That was Alex giving the goodbye yawn. That means we got to start slowing down the show a little bit. 
Once he gets that yawn through, that tells me. Time to pump the brakes. Slow down. I'm a very hyper individual, so that's telling me. All right, it's time to slow down the show. We've been going on along. We don't want to take you on for too long, so we're going to. Look, man, you're a night owl. I am a night owl. I I, perch up. I've, I was. <laughs> I've. <laughs> I become an old man and I just want to go to bed early mm -hmm. and, then, and I never do but then I wake up early and I'm just a cranky all the time yeah then you gotta get your oatmeal your porridge Ugh. grits you don't like you don't Ugh. like oatmeal I don't like I, I don't like grits you got me to try look you got me to try oatmeal the other that one day and I was you like it. <laughs> it was fine <laughs> I was like, it's not bad, and then I threw the record. <laughs> yeah, you, you were like, you were, you were, you were being the good friend. You were like, oh, it's not bad, like, cause you didn't want to hurt my feelings, and then you fucking threw it all away. That was amazing. That was still on that video, was... and I just, you just see me throwing it, <laughs> looking around, making sure no one's looking at you. It's not bad. Hey, to be fair, oatmeal. To, oatmeal. Be fair, to be fair, it wasn't a hell. It didn't help that it was expired. I forgot. About it. it was very much expired. I don't. It was like it was like four or five months. We still ate it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I didn't die. Back to the slowing it down a little bit. We do have a segment where it's really good to slow down. You get to relax a little bit. You get to surf the internet relax. with us a little bit, and we get to go to one of my favorite segments. Shit I've seen on Twitter. Alex, I direct you mm. to the Google Docs that I have posted here. Should have seen it on Not that first one. Go a little bit down a little more. Bloodborne the board game. Up for pre-order on Amazon for a whopping $109 US. What is this board game? No idea. I have no idea what this thing does. I have no idea what it is there for. But I hope it is fun? Question mark? Exclamation point? I think Alex is dead now. Um, so he'll be back momentarily. But I just want to describe to you, just in case you're audience and you don't want to look it up, but it, but they came out with a board game. I'm actually going to go to the actual Amazon link because I want to describe to you what this is. I'm just curious on what a Bloodborne board game actually is, but I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this still isn't out. This comes out sometime between March. Uh, oh, the item release is March 5th. Um, yeah, so about this item, uh, Branching Quest, uncover what's going on in Yarnum in this multi-step process. With many quests along the way, players choose how to proceed with different outcomes each time they play. Innovative combat mechanics. Combat is card-driven, letting players choose where they want to focus their attacks. Enemies are controlled by their own combat deck, letting players possibly predict what the monsters will do next. Highly detailed figures. The hunters of monsters in the, are represented on the table with highly detailed miniature figures. Alex, we were just going over this incredible board game. How, I, I didn't know what happened. I just saw I saw you I saw you talking and I heard nothing. Oh, it's okay. But I, I got okay. I got the gist of it. It's te it's tech. But but the the board game we were just Dude. talking about it, and uh, this is hilarious. I don't know how you would play this. I'm guessing you're just fighting against stuff. I can't tell. Is that the cleric beast or is that the the one the white one? I'm the one in the I would assume the arm. I assume it's the cleric beast. Uh, now this is definitely out of my price range to just have fun with but i'm i'm challenging them i want them to send us this so we can play play with it i want someone oh from amazon to send me we'll this i know that's not it and try to figure it out or... but this seems insane i would did love you, to play this but i'm not spending 110 dollars did you see the in development and subject to license approval and at the bottom it says it's one to four players 14 age, age and plus time 60 to 90 minutes <laughs> i think this is really more of like a sit down tabletop game yeah, right it's like a, it, i feel yeah, like, like board game in your head you, you you know you think of like clue or something or like risk mm -hmm. or something like like you think of something that's like you know, risk isn't short but you but you know what i mean you think of something shorter this is more of like a tabletop game and when i hear tabletop game i think oh it's gonna be at least an hour to do whatever that is uh, but yeah, this was a uh, Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure. What the heck is? I, I look. I found something. A, a Bloodborne game a night kit. I what? What is that? I I, I I literally clicked it and it says it's a uh, the contents in it is two custom game mats, twelve tarot tarot size boss cards, thirty six trophy tokens, 
12 sets, 3%. Six first player figures, welcome letter, promotional poster sticker. I have no idea what this is for. It literally has no de description. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, Game Night. Game Night's kits provide a full evening's gaming in one in a box. They're filled with exclusive prizes and materials with enough support for two times the standard players for a game with some extra excuse me with some extras for the store and the person that runs the event you will also earn points for running a game nine event so it, it's, it sounds like like a D, &D type of thing i way. mean that that definitely is what it is it's I a just, D, D version of bloodborne just by looking at it i was like oh, this is meant for like D, &D basically mm -hmm. interesting now, yeah now that's all well and good it looks cool whatever I, I i think it i think it's just a cool idea to, to bring up i will never play this but it looks cool Mm -hmm. Alex, mm. we like to end every show with a similar question. I like to stop where we began. I'm deep like that. <laughs> that means I have one question for you, Alex. That mm -hmm. is, what are you going to play? We have a long weekend ahead of us. Some mm -hmm. people are off this coming Monday for, of course, President's Day. Remember, mm -hmm. think about your favorite presidents on Monday. Emulate them in some way. I don't know, draw them if you want make it weird but what's something you might want to play that maybe someone else would also want to play over their long weekend uh what day the fourth so that's the monday is the 15th right yep sure it's yeah. not, not persona yet no it's 60 Pers okay not persona yet that's the 23rd that's all i'm waiting that's all i'm waiting really 23rd i wanted to say 19th weird i don't know um but I'm, I'm waiting for that, but I guess I'll be just be in the middle of... I don't know if I can plan on it, but I'm definitely going to get as many achievements as I can for Dark Souls Remastered. Okay, okay. I respect that. I will be playing Destiny 2. I didn't speak about this in the beginning. I should have. I'm in the middle of like trying to play it because I've been working a lot. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been playing it a lot, so I don't have too much to talk about. But I am enjoying this new season. It did start Tuesday. More Apex, too. Almost forgot. Apex. Still yes, playing Apex. Yes, still enjoying Apex. Apex. Uh, the anniversary event specifically is very cool. Um, Alex, I maybe, I, to that. Maybe, well, maybe I can drag you today. Maybe. We yeah. go play some yeah. Apex I mean, after this. I mean, what time, what time is it? What time is it? I can see. 1040? Little... Yeah, give, yeah. give me an hour. That's, yeah. all That's all I ask. I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. Now, going back to that Apex. Very fun event. I like their changes. There's still little things I don't like. I still love Kings Canyon. This other map, it's like it's still not as good, but I still like it. Talking about Olympia? Sure. Yeah. The new one? Yeah, whatever. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you like that, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know I like a game. I critique it, okay? Yeah, like you, are, you sure. know. Now, <laughs> I love you, Alex, because you're the only one that calls me on my shit. Like, you're <laughs> the only one that goes, shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're like, shut up, man. All right, so continuing on what I've been playing. I'm going to probably go back to some Destiny 2. There's a lot going on. This season, I feel like it's really good. It's really chock full of content. Like, literally, when I get on, there's something to do. And then when I do that thing, don't forget there's this thing to do. And don't forget there's this new gun to get. And don't forget there's the dungeon. Don't forget there's the raids. Don't forget there's this, there's that. And it just keeps going. And it's like, don't forget to go back to get your things. So, uh oh. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. go, 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 audience up did you hear that so you, you hear him he's asking me to play apex i'll get on in an hour and get i'm going i'm gonna i'm gonna hit i'm gonna hit that i'm gonna hit that bit i'm gonna hit that middle button i'm gonna hit that middle button and we're like oh evm is online what is he playing destiny 2 hey man i, I bet you everybody a dollar subscription tonight you all gotta subscribe i'm gonna go to that spring list see he's playing destiny he's like hey man what happened what happened what happened with apex I get no answer from him. And guess what he's gonna be playing? It's gonna say Destiny, either main menu, thinking he's asleep, and then I'm gonna look ten minutes later, and it's gonna say he's in a, in a, either in a, uh, one of those um, what are they called? The night things? <laughs> what? The either a raid or Nightfall. The other thing. Thank you, Nightfall. I forget. It's been so long since I played Destiny already. That You're gonna long. be doing Nightfalls, like and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'll go play with him. I see he's he's in a party. And guess what? He already has a full party. <laughs> I guess I'm picks tonight. I 
guess it guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn that off I'm gonna turn that off I'm gonna go back to Dark Souls I'm gonna be playing Dark Souls for like as five minutes I'm gonna turn that on literally start and guess what I'm gonna get I'm gonna hear my phone go off go Bing. hey you want to go play Apex Mother yeah, I just turned off my system I am not about to move back and that's my night how much did I get of that right Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> this is your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for Valentine's Day. We love you. A subscription. <laughs> Look, he flamed me so hard, I can't come back from that. <laughs> I gotta go <laughs> think about my life. <laughs> I gotta go enjoy Mountain Dew and think about my life. Now, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with us. We greatly appreciate every little second you get. Whether you made it through the first five minutes or... Or the last five minutes. Thank you so much. Remember, you can go every single Friday sometimes to YouTube.com. Search Easy Achievers. We're not, we're not cool enough to get the thing yet. You can search Easy Achievers. You get our page. You get you can dance with Alex. You can subscribe to us there. You can <laughs> like. Numa, Numa. Yeah. Numa, 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 yeah. Uh, you can <laughs> like us there. You can comment. You know, help us out with that algorithm. That's all that matters. We love to talk to you. I am always in the comments for those first few days. Because I have notifications set up on my phone. So if you if you want to strike up a conversation with me, I'm right there with you to talk through it. Now, podcast services. Remember, reviews. That's how we get to more people. You help us there as well. If you hate it, just let us know. If you hate it, don't review it. <laughs> if you, you only can review it if you like it. Okay? If you hate it, sorry. Go, go somewhere else. If you want to give us the five stars, do it. If you want to give us one star... Uh, sorry, Goodbye. sorry, no wrong, no. Sorry, that's it's not gonna work that way. I'm gonna make Big Bird find your house. If you want to go that extra mile, and we know it is hard times ahead, so we do not expect this. But if you have that little extra bit, patreoncom slash let's try to get Alex a working computer so he doesn't crash three times during one podcast. That'd be really nice. If you want to help us out, that's only one dollar. That gives you the advice to go PM us, private messaging us through Patreon service that t talks directly to me or Alex, and we get your questions onto the show. Question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. You leave it there. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Remember, go achieve. Go achieve. All right, now I'm going to click this and this, and I'm